it's me. I'm here to show you today a special quick video um, just on how I put my lashes on and a few trips that I've trips tips that I've picked up along the way for the years and years and years and years and years that I've been applying these suckers and um, a few glues that I have. Um, I should do an updated eyelash collection video for you because I haven't done one since my very beginning. Um, but I just haven't done it yet. Anywho, I did not do a full makeup tutorial on this look. I just wanted to show you how I put my lashes on. This was a makeup that I'm going to be redoing because I liked the way it turned out. I was inspired by the lip and I was trying out a new foundation and a uh, highlighter that I got from Maybelline. So I wanted to see how that would roll before I filmed it. Anywho, if you'd like to see how I stick these little fluttery things onto my lids up close, better, more better like, keep on watching. Thanks. Alright, so you can start with lash glue like this. That one has latex in it. This is a Kiss brand. I have an Ardell one, but I'm going to be using this Duo glue. It's kind of messy. It's my favorite one right now. It has been for a while. And I've got some Ardell 120 dummies. Um, when you first start out using eyelashes, some people think it's easier to start with a demi lash. Um, they have a shorter band. I think actually that when you start out with lashes, you pick a lash that you want to actually adhere to your eyeball because you're going to want to wear it. I usually start with my right eye, which is this one in the camera, and I'm taking my lash. I'm just going to put it between my fingertips right here, and then with my knuckle, I'm going to pull out my glue brush here, and then I'm going to paint some, I'm going to lower it a little so I can see it. Sorry, double chin. I'm going to paint some glue onto your lash. See, if you keep it in your knuckle, you've got like extra hands. Got a little much on the end. The most important part of getting glue is on the ends. <clears throat> Excuse me, frog. We're going to wiggle them rolling the band to relax them. You can blow on it if you want to. If it's a client, I wouldn't do that. And the glue, this glue actually starts turning to a translucent and like shimmery blue. You can wave them around, wave them around, wave them around, wave them around. And after about 30 seconds, take your favorite pair of tweezers and having them slanted towards the lash, if they're slanted tweezers, take them like this, and then you're going to go to your mirror, and you're going to angle your face so that your eyelashes are up, I mean facing down, and you're going to push your lashes down as you push the band into the line, using your tweezers to adjust where the band has landed. Use the back of your tweezers. You can even set them down even better. And that glue that you see right there, it will dry clear. Alright, so that's one side. I always start with my right now. I don't know why. And then I'm going to take my lashes and get them between my fingers like this. If you have nails, you might want to do it on the edge of your hand like this. Getting my lash glue in my knuckles. And we're going to paint just skimming it. You see that? A thin strip. Again, we're going to take our edges of our hands and back and forth, back and forth. About 30 seconds worth of dry time to get the glue to start going clear. If it sticks to your finger, take your finger and start rolling it. Rolling it together like this so that it doesn't stick anymore because you're going to need non sticky fingers. Alright, that looks about right. And I always angle my tweezers so that my hand does this so that I'm not doing this. I don't know, it's just how it works. Okay, I've got them in my tweezers. Tilting my head back and my eyes halfway closed. Need to get a better grip. Need to get a better grip. Okay. 
halfway closed. We're going to push our lashes down and aim for the center of the lash line. Adjusting with our tweezer tips where we want that final lash band to go. One of my other tricks is I don't curl my lashes when I'm going to wear false lashes. I find it impedes my ability to get them adhered where I want them and the lashes curl up for me anyhow. So that's going to dry. And that completes the look. I will be doing a, deter a tutorial on this makeup. I was just trying out some colors and combinations and I thought um, I had a request, a request from Christine. Christina, Christina, Christine, Christine, Christine. It's Christine Stanton. Hi honey. Um, to show her how I put my lashes on, um, pretty much up close. And with any pair of lashes I do, this is how I do it. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. It ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun.